In 2017, there were 23 companies with science-based targets in the UK. There are now over a thousand. Companies are getting really serious about reducing their emissions. One of their real challenges is heat, and we think there is a significant opportunity to decarbonise heat by electrifying it. Electricity prices are becoming increasingly correlated with weather patterns. When it's windy, we see prices fall. When it's not windy, we see wholesale electricity prices increase. The government has recently announced its Clean Power 30 plan, and under that plan, we're going to see a substantial increase in wind generation and solar uh, to the tune of about 80 gigawatts. Over that same period, it's unlikely that we're going to see a, a significant increase in demand as things stand. The problem that the grid has is that uh, renewables are intermittent. It's feast or famine. There's either too much electricity or there's too little of it. There is going to be a huge growth in renewables. That growth means that on windy days there will be a huge amount of power, excess power that needs to be used. The options at the moment are for wind farms to be turned off, so if there's an excess of wind, wind farms are turned off, or that power is exported to the continent via the interconnectors. The problem is, if the weather patterns are the same across Northern Europe, everyone has the same challenge, everyone wants to basically get rid of power. Now if we can design an electricity system which is much more flexible, whereby assets can turn up in response and consume that excess electric power, then we have a much more flexible and dynamic system that can take advantage of those times when there is an abundance of renewables. So companies want to decarbonise, but not at any price. By being able to consume electricity flexibly and turn it into heat, we can generate heat cost-effectively. The next challenge is it's not always windy. So what do we do? By combining flexible electrification with an alternative fuel source, then we can provide baseload decarbonisation cost-effectively. How do you decarbonise electricity? How do you decarbonise heat? One, you need flexible assets that can consume it when it's cheapest. Two, you need electricity to be cheaper across the board. And the best way to do that is to not slap a tax on every unit of electricity you buy. We need to get rid of levies that are put on the cost of electricity to fund the renewables rollout. I'm super excited about heat decarbonisation. It is an absolute no-brainer. Why wouldn't you take excess electricity and turn it into heat? The opportunity to act is now. Our customers want to decarbonise and their customers want them to decarbonise. We are already seeing days when there is a surplus of electricity and there is a brilliant opportunity already to use that power to decarbonise your processes cost-effectively. Mm -hmm.